Ladies and gentlemen, what if I told you that for 7 plus months I have been hyping up a Zane build which never came out, but it's finally here today. Well, I mean, y y I hope you believe me because it's the truth, it's what we're doing today. Yes, that's right, today we're taking a look at my Hive Mind Zane build for Endgame Level 72 M11, solo all the content, bring your dad home, and, and it, it is just very cracked. As always, you little shits, a link to the save file is in the description, and you can already see that the skill tree is also on screen if you want to copy it down into your game. Additionally, all of the drop sources for the gear which we're going to get into are in the description down below if you need any help there. The Hive Mind Zane build isn't my typical Borderlands 3 build because it's not something which I made to just casually play the game. It's actually a build I made to speedrun the game. The whole motive of the build is to slide around shooting out hive shots and swapping to the Guardian Angel like the filthy cheater you are to absolutely wipe rooms of bosses, ads and more. And now that you've had enough time to copy the build into your game i'm going to take it off the screen and we're going to get right into the items and luckily there's not many for this build the first one or the first two because we have a copy of this item is the hive the hive got buffed a while ago and it is now extremely extremely powerful when we mesh it with other things which we're also going to show off in just a second here when you're going for your hive you really want to try and get yourself an ASC roll for me I like to get ASC corrosive because the majority of things in Borderlands 3 are armor bars however I have also experimented with as you can see on my rad hive here ASC weapon damage that works well too but I think an extra element is fine but this is going to be the primary weapon that we're using in this build for all of our damage I'll show you a little bit more of it soon but moving on we've also got the guardian angel this is something which you knew was going to be in the build since gearbox aren't fixing it that's confirmed now it's also not working as intended so i mean fuck it i guess we're just allowing broken things in the game the guardian angel's in the build and the guardian angel in this build makes the build broken like actually broken you can do so much damage just by shooting off one of your hive shots and then swapping to the guardian angel so that's what we're doing moving on for our shield we've got the infernal wish we've got the infernal wish for the extra projectile this is going to allow us to shoot even more hive shots when we're just doing our thing and while the ASE element doesn't matter too much with the infernal wish i will say that the shield mods do for me i like to use double amp this is going to give me crazy amounts of damage but for you you might prefer something like absorb on your shield putting absorb on your shield is going to allow you to get back ammo a lot easier without having to switch to a cut purse the only reason that i don't use a double absorb on my inferno wish or even single absorb is because i think it's way too situational and i never hit myself with my hive moving on into our grenade as you can see i've got a blue grenade that's because your nade does not matter but the anointment does you want asc corrosive or asc fire or any asc you can get one of each if you really want but i keep asc fire and asc corrosive next up is our class mod which is very important it's the anti-freeze we want as many points into violent momentum as possible and we also want to make sure that our passives are specced towards our hive damage we're taking the anti-freeze for the bonus damage while sliding which i'm going to show you soon is what we are doing all the time and then moving into our artifact we're using the toboggan we're using the toboggan because it gives us more slide speed and amp damage while we're sliding or rather amp damage on the shot after we slide you, you know you know what I mean you know how the toboggan works so we're, we're using the toboggan with our anti-freeze to basically make it so that when we're sliding around we're doing crazy amounts of damage while we shoot our hive off and that's it i mean that really is the build it's that simple to run there's no smoking mirrors here the only other thing we have in the build is a cut purse to get ammo back should we really really need it it's definitely not a complicated build and it doesn't need to be you don't even need perfect passives on your items because the build is quite frankly overkill on its damage as you can see we're on true guardian takedown here and just to show how crazy this build is in terms of damage we're going to shoot off our hive and swap to guardian angel without using the toboggan and without having our barrier up for the extra damage and as you can see even on true guardian takedown it still does a very very good job at dispatching enemies but ladies and gentlemen but when you actually want to use the build properly put down that barrier pick it up 
get sliding, shoot that hive, swap weapons, and watch the magic unfold as everything gets one-shotted with millions and millions of damage numbers. I mean, that was half a billion there. That's 76 million. I mean, it is just insane. It's not often that I post builds like these because I want to post more simple things for people to understand, but I'm pretty sure this build covers all those bases. It's not a hard build to understand. It's not a hard build to use or farm for. Everything in this build, apart from the toboggan, is relatively simple simple to get dropped. Now, I am aware that some people aren't a big fan of using the Guardian Angel, myself included, so if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. We've got some more mobs here that we can showcase this on, so I'm just going to slide, shoot the hive, not use the Guardian Angel, and as you can see, they still die just as quick. Now, at first glance, you're probably looking at this loadout and thinking, Epic, this is cool, but it's very baseline, it's very boring, there's only one item in here. And that's quite frankly because it's all you need. However, this is a baseline. If you want to build on top of it and you use other items in the build then go for it you know the world is your oyster you by all means you can add a plague bearer a back burner they'll all work just fine you could even use a plasma coil a hail a becca whatever you want to use in this build but I only use what I need to use when I'm making builds like this and what we've got works, which is why we're keeping it so simple. But with that being said, that's going to do it for the Hive Mind Zane build. And if you like the Hive Mind Zane build, then you might like the Hive Nectar G Fuel flavor, which you can save money on by using code NG at the checkout. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. You enter three letters and you save money. Absolutely bizarre. Anyway, boys, that's going to do it for this video. Really hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like on it and sub to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.